Welcome back to Upland Tracks. Last video, I was talking about how many bird species we have here in the United States to hunt. Just throughout all 50 states, kind of giving you guys some websites to check out to see what kind of birds we have and where they're kind of located. So I wanted to roll into this episode where I picked a bird to talk about and kind of give you guys a couple little tidbits on uh, on where it lives and and some hot spots to to travel to to try to, to harvest some during the fall season. So this one I would like to actually pick the prairie chicken. So the prairie chicken is found dominantly in Colorado, Kansas, Minnesota, Nebraska, and the Dakotas. Um, Kansas and Nebraska being the two states that have probably the, the, the best destination for prairie chickens. So just to kind of kick it off, Kansas season, you've got two seasons. You have an earlier season and you have a regular season. The early season runs from September 15th to October 15th, where the regular season runs from November 16th to January 31st. And both seasons have a two bird daily limit. So kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's a long season that you can go there. It, it, um, the bad part about Kansas is you can't hunt the prairie chicken in the southwest unit. So you're going to want to do your research to make sure you know where that southwest unit of the state is because there's no prairie chicken hunting there. The rest of the state is fair game. Um, for non-residents, I'm sure residents already know what their, their hunting license costs for them for small game, but for a non-resident hunter, you're looking at $97.50 for your hunting license and then there's a $2.50 prairie chicken permit. So again, don't just rely on me telling you this information of how much it's gonna cost. Do your research, make sure you check it out and you have everything you need to start your hunt with the prairie chickens in Kansas. The second state being Nebraska has just one season. It runs from September 1st to January 31st. So that's a real nice long season. You get your early hot and you get your late cold where you're gonna to have to bundle up. That's got a three bird limit but that's in conjunction with your sharp tail. So if you shoot a sharp tail, that's gonna to go towards your prairie chicken limit. So just be careful, know what you're, you're harvesting and make sure that you're keeping under that three bird limit in that state. You've got an east zone and a west zone. Anything east of Highway 81, north and south, anything east of that, you're actually gonna need a permit, a grouse permit which there's only 400 of them given out each year. Again, do your research, don't rely on me, but everything that I've found so far is you can either call in or you can show up to any one of their, their DNR or wildlife management areas and you can try to get one of these. It's first come, first serve, so just be ready to be told no. But if you hunt the West, again, all you're gonna need is a non-resident hunting license, which is gonna cost you $97, and you're gonna need a habitat stamp, which is $25. So Nebraska could be a really, really good place to go. Again, try to stay west of Highway 81 and you'll be good to go. Three birds, you know, that's, that's a pretty good bag limit. Um, if you do an extended stay, make sure you look into what your total limit is. So you can have a daily limit and then you're gonna have a bag limit. So just make sure you do your research, check it out. There's a lot of public access areas in Kansas and in Nebraska. So it could be a nice bird to go after during the fall season. You got two states of uh, recommendation for what got high bird densities. So go check it out, have some fun and let's get some birds on the ground.